This is Prayer Line, your weekly inspiration to help you pray for student movements around the world. From mango tree to classroom. As Putri walked towards a classroom at the Universidad de Paz in Dili, Timor Leste, she heard an unusual noise for her campus. Her heart was beating fast for it was a familiar and precious sound to her, worship songs. That day was the first time that students in their IFES movement, SEE, were permitted to hold a classroom gathering. It represented an answer to nine years of prayer. What had started as a vulnerable huddle under a mango tree was now a recognised campus group. Although Timor-Leste is a Catholic-majority country, students participating in fellowship groups commonly face ridicule and persecution from peers, as well as suspicion from university authorities. Some even face excommunication by their families, and the prevalent gang culture only adds to their fears. Many students here are scared or timid when they're invited to come and learn about Christ, says Egas a former student leader of the SEE group at Unpaz. In the early days, they met just off campus, under the shade of a mango tree. Even there, it was hard. They'd only last about 30 minutes before being chased off. But as the group remained faithful, they experienced God's provision. They were able to move to a small veranda outside the office of Professor Samuel, a Christian lecturer. Some months later, the veranda was sealed off for more office space. But the group wasn't disheartened. Putri and her fellow students went and knocked on the radio room door. And God moved hearts. They were given a space for Bible study sessions, and the group continued to grow. But God wasn't finished. When Unpaz lecturers spotted CCTV footage of some students carrying Bibles... They started asking questions. Professor Samuel told them, They're doing the Lord's work. They're moved by the Holy Spirit. Don't give them trouble. Then, during an UNPAS staff meeting, it transpired that there were in fact a few lecturers who attended evangelical churches. This led one Catholic lecturer to suggest these staff form a fellowship with the Bible-carrying students. With the door to the classroom unlocked, Professor Samuel and key SEE students initiated the first weekly meeting. So it was that Putri, to the sound of worship, joyfully entered the first classroom gathering and shared the vision for student ministry with 20 students and lecturers. She concludes, As we faithfully do our part and give God our best, he is indeed faithful. Let's give honour, praise, and thanks for how he granted us this breakthrough. Give thanks for God's faithful work, enabling the SEE group at UNPAS to be recognised by university authorities, given a classroom, and publicised on campus. Pray that the other four campus groups in Timor-Leste will experience similar breakthroughs. Ask the Lord to build courageous faith amid the atmosphere of fear and suspicion, and pray that the official status of the group at UNPAS will encourage apprehensive students to attend. Pray for SEE staff who aim to launch ministry to high schools in February, focusing on Dili and Same, for more open hearts and doors. Thanks for listening to Prayer Line. To have stories delivered fresh to your inbox each week, Join our prayer line mailing list by going to ifeesworld.org.